So the following trend line and seasonal indices were calculated from four weeks of daily sales. So the trend line is given by this equation here, where Y is in dollars and T is the time period. And the seasonal effect is broken down for us by day of the week. So we need to forecast Saturday's uh, sales values uh, for the next week. So how we're going to do this is we're going to take into account both um, the trend component and the seasonal component for our time series equation. So remember that we can write that as y of t is equal to t of t for the trend at whatever time period multiplied by s of t, which is the seasonal effect for that time period. So this tt value comes from our regression equation um, that we're given here. And the S of T part comes from this um, breakdown of seasonal effects. So we'll pop that there. So the only other piece of information that we need is the time period that we're investigating. So this um, information that we're given is based on four weeks or 28 days of sales data. So that means that they would have started at time period one and run all the way up until time period 28. So we now want to forecast the next Saturday's um, sales. So if this is like the last time period considered, a Saturday, um, which was 28, if we then go back to the beginning of the week, the Sunday would be 29, um, Monday would be 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 when we get back to Saturday. So that means that the time period that we want to look at um, for forecasting is equal to 35 and that's like the little t in this equation. So let's start by working out this t of t part which is just plugging into this trend line equation. So it's going to be equal to 200 plus 1.8 times uh, little t which is 35 and from a calculator this comes out to 263. So we then need to figure out the seasonal component and we were interested in a Saturday. So that means that the seasonal component for Saturday is gonna be this 1.9. So all we need to do to plug back in is uh, Y of T. This is the overall prediction for the number of sales at time period 35. Okay, so this is our sales. It's equal to the 263 multiplied by the 1.9. So this comes out to 499.7. And we were told that um, this is all measured in, in dollars. So I would write this for a final answer as sales should be 499.70 um, or 70 cents, theoretically. So that's all there is um, for this video, and I will see you in another one.